watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. And it's just a regular schmegular weekday. I'm deep conditioning my hair so I put this wrap on and I'm actually wearing one of my gowns <laughs> for that trip that we took to Egypt last year. So it's really nice to kind of throw this on. It's kind of like a house gown type of thing, super comfy, okay. Also takes me back, that's why I love souvenirs that have functionality because I can relive the experience through use of the items, not just sitting them on a magnet on my fridge or something. Um, so anyway, y'all, I brought y'all in the guest room in here because Anthony is in the other room on the phone with a coworker talking about police stuff and I'm like, eh, I don't wanna, I don't have to edit that out, okay? In my last vlog, if you guys haven't seen it, check it out, it's what I did for my birthday. It's this vlog right here, okay? Check it out if you haven't already, it's gonna kinda provide a little context for this one. But I was sharing the experience when I went to that bathhouse, right? I went to Air, I think it's pronounced Air, ancient bathhouse, and I had such a good experience, and y'all know how I am. And I experienced something that I really like, I always try to recreate it in my house, it's just how I am. I won't be willing to let it go, so I had an inkling to kind of step up my bath game in my bathroom and just get some more things to have enjoyable baths. I like to soak in my tub and I just wanted to get some new salts, some bubble baths, different things like that. So let me show y'all what I got. Everything just delivered right now. Of course I went on Amazon, I'm so, so excited. So I have some canisters already where I usually store my bath salts. So I wanted to re-up the bath salt. I have not had any bath salts in a long time, y'all. So I wanted to try this one. It smells amazing. It is a sea breeze kind of scent with natural sea salt and orange essential oil. It smells incredible. I already opened it and smelled it. It smells amazing. This is gonna give me like that bathing in the sea vibe. I just know it. Who else gets excited about soaking and baths, honey. And then I wanted to get some milk bath, right? And all of these items had really good reviews on Amazon, so that's why I got them. It has white tea and jasmine, and it's just a foaming bath with milk protein. This got a lot of good reviews, y'all. People were just like, oh my God, I love it. It makes my skin feel so nice, blah, blah, blah. So I ended up getting two of these. And of course, I don't wanna store it in these, so I got this canister to dispense it. So I'll just be refilling this and having this out on the shelf to just pour it right into the bath very, very easily. This actually shipped really well. It was no damage or anything for this to be straight up glass. So they did a good job shipping that. And it's got a nice lid so everything stays in there. And I don't think any moisture can get in or out with that type of lid. So I'm hoping for the best with this thing. I also wanted to try some collagen um, milk bath. And y'all, this one got really, really, really good reviews. Like people were just raving about this. So this is with jasmine, coconut, and vanilla. And I was really excited about it. It's a little smaller than I thought it would be. And it looks like this, it looks like a spa product. Almost looks like an over the counter like medical product, but let's go ahead and give it a whiff. Oh wow, check that out. Ooh, it smells so nice. Oh my God, it smells so nice. <laughs> Y'all, it smells like the spa. It really smells like the spa. Between these two, okay, I'm gonna be thinking I'm at the freaking spa. And then last but not least, I wanted to get some dried fruit. This is grapefruit, one of my favorites, and it looks really, really pretty. And I just want to have these where I can add them to my bath if I want. You can also eat these. They got the nutrition facts here, okay? This is food grade, but I just wanted it for my bath, so we won't be eating them. <laughs> but these could be nice for cocktails and whatnot. So I'll put links to everything that I got from Amazon today down in the description box. It's been a slow last couple of days, y'all. I've just really been in organizational mode. So I've really been tackling our bathroom, not just the bathing experience, but also just like clearing out old expired products and medicines and just going through those cabinets and refreshing them, right? Making room for new items. It's about to be the spring. You know, you wanna spring clean, you wanna bring in new stuff, you wanna get rid of the old expired stuff. That's kind of what I've been doing. So I did order some organizational supplies for inside our bathroom cabinet. Those won't be here until I think um, tomorrow. But for today, I'm just going to refill those canisters and get my soaking bath area all refreshed and restocked so that when I'm ready to take a bath, whether that be tonight, tomorrow, or even next week, whatever, it's ready when I want it. Okay, here are my empty canisters. I cleaned them out and they are ready to receive a restock. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.
is everything. I got my milk bath, bubble bath, soak right here, ready to be conveniently poured. I got my bath salt in here. I got my collagen milk bath in here, easy to pour it right out. I got my dehydrated grapefruit in here. And I got my sugar scrub in this one. Just easy access. This should make it a lot easier to have enjoyable baths. I ordered a wooden spoon to scoop this stuff out. It's actually the color of the lids here, but it has not delivered yet. another choppy vlog. <laughs> I went to the gym today so I need to get cleaned up and all that. It was a pretty good workout. It was kind of easy. Glad I got it out of the way. When I got home I helped get Ann off to school and then Ava went ahead and took her morning nap. So all I've had so far is coffee and it's time for me to make myself something to eat. I was just kind of walking around the house and making the beds and stuff like that. I got some laundry I need to put away, things of that nature. You guys can see um, my hair is all shrunken and shriveled. So I actually still have the conditioner on my hair. I need to rinse it out. It's so funny because when I went to the gym, everybody was like, oh, your hair is different. Did you cut your hair? I'm like, y'all, I'm gonna need y'all to understand the original hair texture before all the mutations, all right? That's what this is. And it shrinks. You know? <laughs> like, this is not actually unique. This is the mother of all hair. I have really been falling off with cooking these last few days. Um, ever since my birthday, going out to eat and ordering stuff has kind of started to become a little bit of a habit. Like last night, I didn't cook. I ended up ordering something off DoorDash. It was some Berea, Quesa Berea ramen. It was so good, okay? <laughs> and I still have the leftovers, which I'll need to eat today uh, for lunch, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook a breakfast. But yeah, it's kind of hard to stay consistent with, um, you know, doing the home cooked stuff and like eating the proper diet for your fitness goals. It kind of can get a little challenging, especially when it comes up against convenience. That's why I hate putting myself in the position where it's like, I don't have anything prepared and I'm hungry because I will eat whatever. So I'm just gonna quickly throw some sausages on the skillet for me and Anthony. He's downstairs right now on the treadmill. His work schedule is not going to allow him to go to the gym today, so he's gonna get in some steps, which is even better. I was talking to a friend of mine last night, an ex-coworker, right? We used to work together um, before I left the corporate space. He and I were basically leading the marketing operations for North America, just me and him. <laughs> so uh, he's actually an entrepreneur and a really brilliant marketer and him and his partner are working on like coming up with a program where you can hire personal chefs, kind of like Uber for chefs. And um, he was just bouncing some ideas off me and you know just talking through some of his marketing ideas around that. And I'm like, oh my God, like if y'all launch that, Keep me in the loop, honey, because I am definitely the personal chef girl, right? I was telling him like, it's like a luxury to be able to have somebody like come into your home and cook for you very specific things. But at the same time, it can still be affordable. And so that's what they're trying to do, create like an affordable rent a chef type of situation where you can have them for special occasions or for things like meal prepping. I'm like, man, sign me up, okay? <laughs> that's the thing, right? Like once a marketer, always a marketer. You will always have that 
interest. Whatever you do, no matter what industry, you will always kind of come back to the science of marketing. I think that's how I am too. That's kind of what's kept me in this influencer marketing game for so long. Always been into marketing. Uh, used to be a marketer for, you know, the tech space. And now I'm more into like the consumer goods space. So it always brings you back, reels you back in. The principles are the same though. That's the thing. And I love talking to y'all. It's always so much fun. Building community, staying connected, sharing ideas. That's the magic that makes us human. Which one's the most? Johnsonville. I like um, Tennessee Not you being a sausage snob. I was watching a, um, a YouTube short of somebody who damaged their hamstring on camera. She was trying to do a split and you heard it pop. I was like, oh my God. So hun, wh why don't you like these sausages? They don't hit the same. I took some chicken out to thaw because tomorrow I want to make some chicken he burritos. We used to be so obsessed with he burritos when we lived in the city. There was this place that we would go to. It was called Borwequin. And there was this one dish where you would fry some plantains and like smash them to make them like, you know, like a sandwich. And then you would fill it with like grilled chicken. There was like this garlic mayo, you know, lettuce, tomato, cheese, you know, like this really delicious sandwich. And we used to make them um, and it's just been so long since we had it. And so I came across the rest this restaurant that's out this way last night on DoorDash. And I was like, huh, I remember the he burrito. And so we're going to try to make it. And then I'm thinking about instead of deep frying the plant and maybe we'll cook it in the air fryer so that it's not so greasy, you know, we'll see. I'll share it with you guys if we end up doing it on this vlog. Okay, here's breakfast. Some of that leftover rice, sausage, and a little cucumber. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's tea time. I rinsed the conditioner out my hair. <laughs> and y'all, I'm thinking about blow drying and braiding it. I really am. So I'm having some tea. Ann just got home from school and she ran upstairs. Yeah! And me and Ava are over here having a blast, y'all. Let me show y'all this thing Anthony bought her. He got her a little bouncy bounce, whatever this thing is called, y'all. I don't, what do they call these? Whatever, it's a Fisher Price product. And uh, yeah, Ava girl is getting the hang of it. She kicked her socks off. She's like having a great time in this thing. <laughs> we had one of these for Anne and she really didn't like it as much. So we didn't have any expectations for it with Ava, but Ava seems to really love it. Like it's all smiles. She likes all of the little activities that are on this thing. So she's really having a good time. I personally don't want to overuse or over depend on devices and play things like this because I just feel like you know, as parents, we come equipped with everything really that these, these kids need in terms of what we need to be teaching them and like helping to guide their development and stuff. I think we possess everything that they truly need, but stuff like this is great just because it's little activities for them and it's stuff that they can do while you get other things done. And I think that's really what stuff like this is. They're like little transitional pieces, not meant to be overly dependent on and not meant to replace that in which parents should be teaching, you know? <laughs> all righty just received another order from amazon y'all i got this stackable drawer organizer for one of the cabinets in the bathroom and i must say they packaged it very well very very well so no damage or anything and um these are just little stackable acrylic drawers so this is like tier one and then it's two more i'm just hoping it works out for everything i'm trying to do look it came with its own little 3m glide control right to keep them from sliding all around in the inside so this is the cabinet i already kind of took a stab at reorganizing it and the biggest thing was just getting rid of outer packaging and making sure things can just kind of fit which is tough with meds because sometimes the instructions are on the packages i just need to address this one Ava's tripping <laughs> I need to just address this one so that's what I got the three tiered um, thing for and then loose medications and things are in this little guy so I'm just gonna redo it to make sure everything can fit and that we can easily find everything all 
right, let's test out the fit. Uh, don't you just love when your measurements line up perfectly? Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's uh, let's fill it up. Let me get these little feet on here because I would love if this thing wouldn't move. Okay, all done. I'm happy with it, right? I was able to redo some stuff just to free up some extra room on this first shelf here and I just kind of reorganized and just made sense of things. So I like this thing, y'all. I have to recommend it. I think it's great, um, not only because it gives you three tiers to store stuff and not just one, but it's all see-through. So if you need to see what's in there, you can pretty much look from any angle and be able to identify the bottle that you need. Yeah, most of this stuff is Anthony's stuff anyway, so that's why I wanted it to be a little higher up this is mostly the area that I utilize and then this is mostly like his supplements and athletic pain relief stuff and all that kind of thing and then you have a little bit of room at the top to put some stuff so yeah it really helped to maximize the space that we have up here and I was able to get more stuff stored in here plus a little extra room for new things that we may acquire so yeah I'll put the link below to this three-tiered little system here if you guys want to explore Downstairs. Mm. Sitting here having lunch with the kiddos. I need to be braiding my hair. Oh my god, I'm so behind. Mm. That is so good. And use your fork.
All right, workout number two of the day done. Today was a run day, so I went to the gym this morning and then I was like, I also gotta run though. So, we got that move ring closed before 11 a.m., okay? Feeling great, today's Friday. It's ready for the weekend in real time. It's the weekend of the Super Bowl. Um, so, I'm excited to get out of the house and have something to do. I've been in the house all week. The only thing I do is go to the gym and be up in the house. So I'm really excited to get outside, to socialize, to be around other like-minded adults. We did get invited to a Super Bowl party, so we're gonna be going to that. So excited, it's gonna be fun. I don't even like football. <laughs> I come for the drinks and the food and the socializing. Anthony just went to the gym, so he'll be back soon. And when he does get back, y'all, I'm gonna leave and go to the beauty supply because I'm feeling like some braids this weekend. I don't know, I think I wanna braid my hair today. So I might do that. I'm thinking about doing some medium to small, um, boho braids, goddess braids, whatever. So I gotta go to the beauty supply and get the hair and whatnot. And I was meal prepping last night. I didn't bring y'all along for it, but I did make some, <laughs> some chicken dishes, right? Just chicken and basmati rice. Basmati rice is probably my favorite rice of them all. So I made some chicken with like some curry seasoning and whatnot. I didn't have any coconut milk, so I didn't get to really do a true curry chicken, but it was still pretty darn good. So yeah, my hair is clean, but it's a little sweated out now from all of the working out. So I'll probably have to wash it again and then blow dry it and then maybe straighten it. All right, y'all, I got cleaned up. <laughs> now I'm on my way to the beauty supply. Listen, I gotta end this vlog because this is just too choppy. This is just too choppy. <laughs> so I'll see y'all in the next one when I get my hair braided and all that stuff. And um, yeah, toodles. No, I'm just kidding. Bye. Mm. Oh, the wind blew the door open. <laughs>